All right, so we got this cam set, gear-driven cam set came in this morning. First thing I do is open up this package, take out these four bearings, and throw them in the freezer. That way they get small and we can put them in there nice and easy. Don't have to push any material doing such. All this stuff I just keep. You block off plates for getting rid of the, that's for the newer stuff, with the hydraulic tensioners. Two cams and two gears. And so, I'm going to lay them all out. Got your, that's the cam side of the gear. And this is going to be the crank side of the gear, on the pinion. And we got a couple of gear driven cams. When lining these up, it's pretty simple. These things will have little marks on them. There's one there. And then the next one is right there. So when these go in together, they're going to go like that. And then they'll go down into the can. But we got to put some bearings in. My bearings out of the freezer, they're nice and small now. I'm going to open them up, hopefully. Anytime you put a bearing in, you want to put it so that you can see your words on the outside of the installation. You don't want to have those words on the bearings be inside of it. That, that kind of dictates how the, which direction they'll go. Hear that noise? You're done. And then I got my next set of bearings. Before, like I've done before, to get these bearings out, I heated this plate. You want to heat this plate again. You don't want to get it too hot because you don't, you don't want to warp it or anything. You just want to warm it up. I usually do right in the middle, right? Uh, this, uh, with the words going outwards, once the installation is in and you see the can, you want to be able to see the words. Uh, not hard enough. this all cools down, that's going to be locked into place. We didn't have to remove any material to put it in there. So then, next step will be to put these cams down in. Line them up for timing again, make sure I'm on it. Set the two in place. Set the tool on the two. Evenly walk these two down into this, into the bearings. <laughs> See with the Arbor Press, I just know I'm not going to get too carried away with a lot of poundage on it. Then we want to put in our new bearing retainer in. And they give us a new snap ring for the uh, front cam.
usually on a bolt this small you want to use blue but when putting in on cam support plates like this you're going to use red you don't want these to come out last thing you want is one of these to come out Got a bunch of bolts going into one thing, just start them all before one is tight. Just start them all. Otherwise, you'll find out. You'll find one that won't go, and then you'll strip it. That's not good on a plate like this. Alrighty then. Also, we got a new fuel or oil pump. Brand new oil pump going in this thing. Kind of fueling design made by uh, I think Ultima or something like that. Got this two-piece design. It's going to be extra long screws because this oil pump is going to, is a little bit different. So you're going to have these extra long screws. You're going to just you know ditch the. Uh, Ditch the original screws that came with this pump or the old pump. Always take a little bit of the leftover oil, just coat that so that it slides on in. We're going to put that into the case rather than have it stay on the pump to put into the case. We're going to put it right in the case and have it set ready. A little bit of oil again, lubricate it, and let it slide in. Alright, so there's a pump that's installed. I'm going to take a little bit of that oil again, lube these outer, these o rings. This one's going to go here. This is the uh, return side of it. It's going to be the fatter gears. Always larger gears to return the, the oil. Because the feed is pretty natural. It's always a gravity almost. Set it nice. Take those gears out. Set them up too. Okay. Got a little dowels on and we're ready to put the, oil, the uh, cam support plate to go on. Check our cam support plate. Cams. Set them on in there. Put the two O-rings here. That's the return. And one would be for the balancers, but it doesn't have anything going for it. It's, it's not a balance motor. Still needs an O-ring. Keep the pressures. Turn these cams just a little bit and rock around the, the lifters. And it sits right on in. Here's that snap ring that came with the kit. I'm going to put that on the front cam.
That's nice and seated. I know for a fact that I need that away from my, my pinion. And then I need to turn my pinion so that this square is headed towards it. So it makes these cams fit right. Like I said, we got 10 bolts going into this thing. Uh, because of the new pump, we're going to replace four of these bolts with those longer ones. So we're just going to kind of set those aside and then give everybody some Loctite. A little bit of blue on each one. I want a whole lot on there because it'll wind up just being everywhere except for where you want it. These are the type of block, Evo type of block alignment tools, and you, these are just for alignment. I'm going to start, I'm just going to put these in here and get them ready. I'm not really going to tighten anything down on that oil pump quite yet. If you can see there's numbers, there's one, two, three, four, basically like the torque procedure on it. And then I'm going to take all the outer bolts and start them. These are all the, the uh, stock bolts, the short ones. One, two, three, four. Those are going to be the longer ones if you got an aftermarket oil pump. And what I'm going to do is just basically lock this plate down, and then I'll show you how to uh, center up an oil pump in a twin key. Okay, next thing I want to do, this is before tightening my oil pump down, I just tighten the plate. I'm going to remove the plug so they don't have the cylinder pressure holding me back so that I can spin the motor. Do this a little unorthodox because sometimes we don't have two people to help out or you know a helper to help me out. So I leave my battery on and I just set the dashboards on road keys to the side so that I can turn the power back onto the bike and I'll use the starter for the uh, to rotate the motor and, and center my oil pump. And by centering the oil pump I mean these gears here you got one square and you can see these are these are what they call a uh, uh, rotor and uh, see how this is going to wobble around What's going to wind up happening when I want to center this oil pump, I'm going to spin the motor and uh, this is just going to force my pump to center in and only the pinion be moving. I'm going to go ahead and turn power on on the bike. I'm just going to free spin. I'm just going to free spin. Right now it's going to be centering it up. spins like that while I'm tightening and I'm spin it. Go to the next one. And those are tight. Once those are tight this oil pump's not gonna move. We centered it on, into the pump, the gears to the pump, and then we can move, remove these one at a time and replace them with their mint bolt. this key on at the same time as I'm tightening it down so 
They say not to do this, but I don't see any other way to do it. See how that opinion is just a little bit off, that's fine. I'm just going to roll around like so until it fits on. Set the bolt in. There it is. Now we can remove our magnetic holders out of our keepers or our, our lifters. Put those tools away. We got extra bolts, just like any good job would have. Now I'm going to have to take this head off before it continues because this exhaust stud broke. And that might be our next little section of how to repair. So basically what we've gone through is the whole cam conversion. Uh, we've walked you through everything that's going on, the things that can happen. Like I say, this is a lucky segment, not to the owner of the bike, but to the viewer to see how bad things can get. Just remember, it's not always your fault. Even if you do keep up on maintenance, these things do happen. But luckily we put it back together and he'll be down the road. Thanks for watching.